And once more with feeling, you got your roots, spread them out, make a little trench. Spread them out like that. Hey, it's Greg here with MaritimeGardening.com and today I'm planting some strawberries. And I thought before I did that, I'm gonna show you how I plant them and all that sort of stuff, but I also thought I'd explain why I'm choosing this particular type of strawberry uh, to plant in my garden, as opposed to a different type I'd, I'd planted before. So there's three kinds of strawberry. There's uh, June-bearing, ever-bearing, and day-neutral. Uh, June-bearing strawberries bear their fruit in June, give or take, right? June, maybe early July. Um, ever-bearing, they bear some in, in June, July, and then they bear the rest uh, late summer. Uh, and, then, uh, and then day neutral, uh, like ever bearing, bear some in June and some in late summer, even uh, into September and even October. Uh, and they also bear them intermittently all through the summer, uh, depending on how, how hot it gets. If it gets too hot for too long, they just shut down and sort of uh, don't produce fruit until, uh, until things start to cool again. I don't really know how they figure that out, but they do. Um, so previously in my garden, I'd grown uh, ever bearing because uh, it's nice to have strawberries all season long but uh, the disadvantage of that is that it's just one more uh, thing you have to deal with in your garden all summer long you have to be picking them all the time uh, so I mean it depends on the size of your garden if that's the only thing you're growing maybe that makes a lot of sense um, I'm gonna go with June bearing variety and I'm gonna explain why I'm do doing that uh, number one they're supposed to give the the, the largest yield that is to say the weight of the straw the total weight of the total harvest of that plant is greater than the weight of the total harvest of the other plants because um, most of the strawberries i'm growing them to make strawberry jam <laughs> uh, if if i'm eating toast i want strawberry jam on it so everybody in my family loves strawberry jam so i'm i'm making these to make strawberry jam it's nice to have them in salads and other desserts and stuff like that but really the main purpose of me growing strawberries is to be able to make strawberry jam without having to spend an outrageous price in the grocery store for strawberries to do that, or to have to drive. I mean, the, the place I would go to pick strawberries, it's like an hour and a, or more drive from here. You gotta devote a day to it. I like, just wanna have them in my backyard. I got a big, guard, a big garden, so it makes sense. The other reason I want the June bearing is because both day neutral and ever bearing, the larger crop, the larger yield, uh, of those two yields, the, the June and the late summer, early fall, uh, it's the early fall, that's, or late summer, that's when they give you the larger yield. And at that time in my garden, I got a lot of things going on. I got a lot of things to harvest and a lot of things to process. You know, zucchini, cucumbers, you know, all kinds of different, there's a lot going on in my garden and it's a bit much to have to deal with a huge bumper crop of strawberries as well, because uh, all that has to be turned into jam. Um, so in June, there's not a lot happening in the garden. There's some things growing and that sort of stuff, but I'm not you know, heavily into harvesting things in June. So it's relatively, you know, um, it's less overwhelming to have to deal with all the strawberries in June because there's not a lot of other things that are being harvested at that time of year, save uh, some greens and things like that. So that's why I'm gonna go with the June bearing uh, variety. And I got some right here. I bought them yesterday. I just wrapped them in a wet rag overnight because I, I couldn't get to them last night. And I'm planting them now. It's a little bit late in the year for planting strawberries. You probably wanna do it more, you know, uh, middle of May or early May, that sort of thing. Um, but these, these should be fine. And they still they were still selling them at the garden center, so it made sense. Um, so this is a June bearing variety. I can't remember the name of it. It was unpronounceable anyway, so <laughs> not even going to try. Uh, so let me bring the camera a little bit closer and show you how I deal with these and how I plant them. Make a little trench in the ground. Fan the roots out like that. Get them in there. Like that, all right? And once more with feeling, you got your roots, spread them out, make a little trench. A 
Just print them out like that. Make sure the crown's at soil level, of course. And in you go. One of the great things about planting these is that they're relatively easy to plant because they're spaced out to a, a fair extent. And uh, you stick them in the ground and, uh, you know, so next year I'll get a crop. And really for about three or four years they'll give you a good crop and then they'll, they'll start to uh, slow down. The actual plant will die. All that time the plant's going to be sending out runners to create new babies. Uh, the first couple of years you want to cut those runners off and just let the plant focus on, you know, producing berries. Uh, fourth year you want to let the runners, uh, you know, uh, establish themselves so that those new plants, the babies of those runners, give you the next uh, generation. Right, so uh, yeah, it shouldn't take long to put this whole garden in. This garden here is about three feet wide by 12 feet long. It's gonna take me, you know, 10, 15 minutes to get these in the ground, and then I'll have uh, strawberries for years and years. So uh, let's get these babies in the ground. Anyway, so that's how you do it. it. Didn't take too long, wasn't that hard. I think that took maybe 10 minutes and then I'll have strawberries for years and years and years. Uh, a perennial garden, uh, relatively low maintenance, the strawberry. Um, relatively, I think that bundle cost me 15 bucks. And uh, yeah, I'll have strawberries for years and years. So it's, it's a good way to, if you like strawberries and you've got the space, it makes a lot of sense. Yes, you've got some runners to manage and that sort of stuff, but it's really not, uh, that overwhelming in the broad scheme of things. There are other things in my garden that are much higher maintenance than strawberries for sure. Um, so yeah, and I'm going with the June bearing because I think it's just uh, easier to deal with the harvest at that time of year because there isn't a lot of other things uh, coming on too strongly at that time of the season. Uh, this is going to need a mulch. I'll put a light mulch on here. As the strawberries get bigger, I'll add to it. Uh, but it's always good to have a mulch. Strawberries like to be mulched. They're called straw berries. You don't, but you don't have to use straw to mulch them. I've used seaweed, I've used uh, leaves, you know, just, just about any sort of yard waste will do. Um, so, uh, yeah, and by virtue of the mulch, the soil is going to be better off, the soil organisms are going to be happy, you're not going to water it as much, all that sort of stuff. Many good reasons to, to, to have a mulch. Also, weed suppression, right? So, um, all i got to do now is mulch this a little bit. Uh, as the plants get bigger, I'll add mul more mulch. I don't want to bury them, <laughs> right? I don't want to give the slugs and snails uh, too much of an ideal situation here, uh, right off the bat anyway. Uh, I've disturbed the soil a bit. Uh, the birds are going to rush in here and they're going to pick off anything they can find. And they, I guess see a, there's a snail right there <laughs> crawling along. So hopefully the birds will come in today and just wipe a lot of those things out and just make this uh, sort of a good situation. And uh, maybe tomorrow or the next day I'll, I'll mulch this a little bit. And as the plants get bigger, I'll mulch it some more. But um, anyway, there you have it, strawberries. A great perennial plant, uh, delicious, you know, a sign of summer, uh, tasty, all that sort of stuff. So I uh, hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. Check out my podcast at maritimegardening.com. And until next time, get out there, get at it, 
have fun in your garden. Thanks for watching. <laughs>